I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished this marathon of a piano. We've been working on this piano for two years. It doesn't usually take this long, but uh, uh, this one, it did. And you'll see why. It's, it turned out absolutely beautiful on the inside, and, uh, and I'm, I'm very pleased. This is a full, full rebuild of the piano, obviously refinishing of the outside, and a full rebuild of the uh, player um, as well. So uh, we are, and we're actually, so, so the piano, piano is being delivered to, uh, to North Carolina and it's leaving um, on Monday. And as I'm making this video, it's Saturday morning. So we're actually, we're actually still just finishing up like the final, the final uh, um, sliding, sliding door. So I, so I have that off on the on the bottom but uh but i thought i'd make the video regardless okay so this piano is 100 years old this is uh an old conway player it was it was totally beat up as as you would imagine i mean for anything for any piano that's 100 years old so let's let's uh well why don't we check out the check out the exterior turned out absolutely beautiful um it's uh I think the lighting in here is pretty good, good enough that you can you can see how how nice all of that looks. Beautifully refinished. And actually, Saturday morning, why don't we? Uh, since we're here and we're 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 here alone, except for the head refinisher, let's go let's go see what he's working on and give him a little bit of credit for that beautiful refinishing job because that was really uh it was it was a pretty intense job so come on in so right now it's like he's uh refinishing that yamaha and doing some legs entertaining our daughter <laughs> this this piano is actually also going out on monday and there was just a little bit of a repair that he had to do this is a uh, six foot eight Kauai and uh, that, this one's actually going to Florida on that same trip anyway oh and that's nice this was a wood a wood finish and he's doing it in like a kind of a semi gloss that's looking good okay so there he is he's busy he's busy Getting artwork that's right it's looking good so most of the most of the refinishing work Here's here's another one that he did. This is a an older an older cable that he refinished for a client. Very beautiful work. Most of the refinishing work around here is his. He did this. This is beautiful natural finish on a Cole Brands in about the same about the same era. Anyway, so beautiful job. And then I should probably show this off as well. You can see, I mean, all of this replated. We've got a plating shop here in house and a replica decal. And then we put new uh, keys on there as well. They were in rough condition. Okay, let's check out the inside, the player and the piano itself. Okay. So of course, of course, a player piano is it's a it's a piano in its own right. It's it's just a and, and the player system just acts on the piano, as as you can see this 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 piano for example this is also a player, but the piano, uh, the player has been has been removed and so we'll be rebuilding all of the guts of this piano for for this client. But it's the same same thing. It it functions just fine as a piano without the player. So anyway, so uh, why don't I talk briefly about the, uh, about the piano restoration and then I'll, and then I'll uh, kind of showcase the, the player, although it's kind of probably self-evident. So the, uh, everything was completely taken apart. We had it, we had it down to, to this, this level of, of tear down all the way down to, you know, played out everything out. Um, Refinish the 
refinished the uh, the soundboard and and redid a lot of the bridge work, restore a lot of the tension in the soundboard on these on these older pianos. The tension is lost in the wood, and then and it and it just lacks beauty and resonance. That when you put when you put a lot of tension in and, and put shims in there when it's under tension, that restores that store restores a lot of that a lot of that tone that uh, that has been lost over the years. So then uh, after that, of course, the soundboard is refinished. Let's see here. Here's a uh, step step or two later. Um, like on this one, you can see the, the soundboard's been refinished. It's beautiful again. We've got, we've got a new bridge there, and the plate has been refinished with that automotive paint. It's beautiful. It has, it has metal flake in there that gives it kind of a sparkle. All the, all the strings are new, and all of these are original, but, but we've got them all polished up and plated and everything looking good. And you can see that on on this Conway too. It's just a little bit more hidden, maybe more obvious on these others. So if we go down here and see the how beautiful that soundboard is again. And you can see the bridge. Bridge is the cap there has been replaced, so it's about the top half inch or so is brand new. They make a pattern of the old of the old bridge and duplicate that very as, as precisely as we can. And you can see some of those shims that I was talking about. If you look, I don't have to look too carefully, but you can see like that's been routed out and shims have been placed in there. And that's what, that's what we use to uh, try and restore as much of that tension and crown in the soundboard as we can. And, and yeah, you can see the, the plate Having been redone, how beautiful that is as well, top and bottom. And then the um, strings are new, all the tuning pins are new. Those are all torqued to between 100 and 120 pounds of torque, and that uh, that's the appropriate amount. And you can see the the hammers are new and the dampers are new. Shanks, these are the hammer butts right here. Those have all been replaced. Hallmark of a good hammer job is is you've got you've got all these hammers in beautiful alignment in different dimensions. This you can put a straight edge across the top here, across the top back here, and then across the back of the hammers there. You should also be able to put a straight edge across the, the uh, catchers, and everything is just in beautiful, perfect alignment. And then of course it's all been regulated, and I mean yeah, it's just in great shape. Then, uh, then the player. Let's let's check out. Let's check out the player. So all of this, when when players are are non-functioning, so every every single note uh, corresponds with a hole. And I'll I'll showcase this here in just a second. And it's it's essentially an early computer when. When it's it's a one or a zero, if there's a hole that passes over these holes, then it lets air in and it actuates the note. And when people refer to the quote unquote bellows, there's there's usually they're they're probably referring to to the larger these larger uh, air. You can see it it's creating a vacuum there, which turns the transmission. But uh, but there's quote unquote bellows throughout in inside here. All of those have every note has 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 bellows. Everything has to be totally airtight. You've got all sorts of tubing. If you look here, if you if you look back in there, all of the tubing has been replaced. That's a lot of tubing. And then and then uh my son, who runs the plating shop, I'm very proud of him. He's a chemistry genius, and his his plating is beautiful, beautiful work. He's been doing that for a few years, and look at all this beautiful plated brass plated brilliance.
so nice. Okay, let's play it. As I mentioned, this was a, oh, this was a marathon of a project. Although we have we have a few more players that we're that we're rebuilding. I think I think right now we have five more on the docket that uh, that are coming up. But I think they'll be much faster than this one was. And this cool chair got to flip up, and sit it straight, or if you want to hump the player. Maybe a little bit more convenient at this angle here. Fun stuff. Maybe let's transpose. Awesome piano. I'm excited for this client to, to get this piano in North Carolina probably in a week or two. And uh, I think the marathon's over.